the prospect calls you up or responds to you and they say, well, you sent me an offer. You sent me a letter. And your response is, that's great, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect. Thank you so much for getting back to me. Which property, which offer? And then they'll attack you in a minute. Well, don't you know who you made the offer to and everything? How many of these do you send out? I, I do send out a lot of offers. I am a professional investor and I'd like to reiterate my offer today, but I have to know which property we're talking about. Could I ask you a few quick questions? You ask me a few, I'll make you an offer. And if we can find a way to do business today, either price or terms, um, we'll do a contract and we'll conclude business today. Make sure you're the authority. You're taking charge. Make sure you're using the gut sales method and setting the agenda early. Okay. Don't let them bully you. Don't let them attack you. Don't let them see. Most people don't realize that you're usually not the first phone call or first investor. So you have to act differently. You have to use those pattern interrupts we talk about in a lot of my videos and in the gut sales method. So from the very beginning, you have to act like a professional. You have to sound like you're successful. You want to get them on video if at all possible. Don't text back and forth. I have videos on that. That's ridiculous. Nobody's going to buy a very expensive piece of property by texting or emailing back and forth. Tell them you'd like to make them an offer today, but they need to get you on um, FaceTime or on Zoom or Skype or some other video system, okay? That's the whole point of this technology. If they're unwilling to do that, tell them, well, I guess it's over then. I'll make the offer to somebody else. You get to fire the prospect. It's all about you feeling good about yourself every day because you cannot have the prospect, the tail wagging the dog all day or the prospect rejecting you or being snippy and rude. You won't succeed in this business because you'll procrastinate. You don't want to speak to people who are not nice to you. So you have to set the tonality, the professionality. You get to set the rules. That's called the guts agenda.